guys, Grady's mom here, and today I wanted to talk about some, share, pretty much share some tips on how to be successful on YouTube. Now, I'm not saying that I'm personally successful on YouTube. This video isn't trying to say that I'm successful and I'm a big time YouTuber. I'm not. I'm just a normal mom that does videos sharing recipes, hauls, vlogs, things like that. Um, even when I started YouTube, I never had an intention of trying to be a big time YouTuber with a million, a million subscribers. Um, I just film on a regular camera. I don't have any fancy, you know, lighting and equipment and editing tactics and all of that. I'm really just a normal mom with a normal camera who just uses a normal editing program. Um, so that's just the background on myself. I started my YouTube channel. I actually created my you know, account January 31st, 2013, although I didn't post a video, I think until February, 2013. Um, I didn't post regular videos when I first started my channel, which was just doing diaper bag reviews and packing videos because my son was small at the time. Um, and then I had to evolve and kind of reinvent myself after I was sort of out of the constantly reviewing diaper bags because my son is now over three, you know, he's pushing three and a half. So I really had to last year kind of reevaluate and ask myself, you know, what new and fresh ideas video wise could I bring to the table? So I really just, you know, you have to just ask yourself and this goes for you guys out there who want to start a YouTube channel or maybe already have a YouTube channel. Ask yourself what you're passionate about. If you have, we all have certain interests and certain talents. We all do. So use that in your YouTube channel. I love to cook. I'm not, you know, a master gourmet chef, but I love to cook in general. So I feel like bringing that element a little bit sometimes into my YouTube channel works for me because it's something that I'm already passionate about. I love to shop. Who doesn't? So I feel like why not share with other people the deals that I got or the things that I bought? Because I personally enjoy watching other YouTubers do hauls from Sephora or clothing or their kids' clothes or what toys their kids like. I, I think that you can really learn a lot and get a lot of different fresh new and discover new things from watching other people on YouTube. So as far as some tips I wanted to share for being a YouTuber, the number one tip I can give you is to post regular videos. I don't mean you have to post a video every day. For some of us, that's just completely unrealistic. Um, but what I mean by post on a regular basis would be, I don't know, I guess a couple times a week would for me be considered a regular basis and definitely have that consistency where you're posting every week two times a week, if not, you know, more if that's possible. Um, because I find that consistency is key because people who subscribe to your channel, you know, they look forward to your videos. I know for me personally, people that I subscribe to on YouTube, every day I check to see if they have a new video and it's something that I get excited about because I genuinely love their content and watching them and I feel like if you're a YouTuber and you want the same and you want subscribers to be excited to watch what you have to say or post, you know, that consistency really helps with, you know, keeping a subscriber base and a fan base and all of that. The second tip I can share with you is to try and interact with all your subscribers if they comment. Um, I try and read through all the comments that I get, both good or bad, and I always try to respond because I feel that interaction is really important. It lets your subscribers know that A, you've noticed that they watch your videos and they comment, and B, that you actually take the time out to comment back, even if it's just a simple, you know, comment back acknowledging that they commented. Because for me, I feel like with any YouTube channel, your subscribers are key because if you don't have subscribers or you want to get more subscribers, the key is to interact with them. And I genuinely care about the people that subscribe to my channel and take the time to watch my videos and comment because that's what motivates me to keep doing videos and keep putting content out there because I know there are people that genuinely care what I have to say and take it seriously and they're you know interested in the things that I have to share and that makes me feel really good because I genuinely care about my subscribers and I notice the people that comment on a regular basis um, you know you start to see a pattern of the same people or the same um, you know the same names that you recognize 
and it's really flattering and it's really nice and you get to feel like you're really interacting with these people on a personal level and I absolutely love that so definitely interact back with your subscribers um, that is really important I think in my opinion um, another thing I can mention is thumbnails for the longest time I never had thumbnails I thought that they were a waste or I thought they would be complicated to make but I can actually really highly recommend a site called pickmonkey.com it is super easy to create thumbnails and all I what I mean by a thumbnail guys is when you post a video rather than um, the video screenshot or whatever being you kind of talking or paused in mid-sentence um, you know meaning a clip from your video as the cover photo I guess a thumbnail would just be something you create to maybe showcase what the video is about um, and it just looks a lot more professional it is more eye-catching so when people who are not subscribed to you even are looking you know for a certain topic that your video happens to fall under the category they will see that thumbnail picture instead of like a, maybe a still shot of you talking or something I hope that even makes sense but I've just been you know really hearing a lot about thumbnails help with videos and subscribers and all of that so I recently very recently started doing the thumbnails on my videos using pickmonkey.com so definitely check out that website it's very easy to use even for somebody who is not good at all of that computer stuff um, the last couple things I want to mention are social media is key Instagram Twitter Facebook fan page um, even things like Pinterest um, social media is really king these days if you want to get your videos out there get what your channel is about out there um, don't be afraid to put yourself out there because YouTube you're already putting yourself out there let's be honest so I feel like if you're already willing to do that then why not step it up a notch and have social media in place you know like I said Instagram Facebook Pinterest things like that use the down bar and description box and about section in your YouTube channel to mention all of your social media links if you have Twitter link your Twitter because you know once you get a fan base and get subscribers people are interested and they want to be able to follow you on other platforms for me personally the youtubers that I follow I follow their Instagrams their uh, Facebook fan pages you know I follow their social media because I'm genuinely interested in the things that they have to say um, and lastly, the tip I can give you is collaborations. Um, you can do tag videos, you can collaborate with other YouTubers, both big or small. Um, it just helps, collaborations help to get not only your, you know, your channel out there, but somebody else's, and then on vice versa on their channel, that will expose your channel. So it kind of um, is nice to do collaborations, whether that is um, tagging each other in some kind of collaboration and then mentioning the other you know person's channel um, right now I'm working on a mommy swap I've done several mommy swaps in the past and I'm doing one now um, with my friend uh, Rockin Mama on YouTube um, so I will definitely have that swap up later this month we're gonna just send our boxes out and collaborate together and give each other kind of that exposure and it sort of is a nice way to um, you know introduce somebody new to your followers and the same for them so I hope you guys enjoyed these just simple tips on how to be successful on YouTube again it's just my opinion and what works for me um, I hope that it gave you some insight if you have your own channel and some things that will help you to expand your channel and have a great day guys and I'll see you all in my next video bye